Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to add video effects to your clips. And a lot of those functions are found right down here. If you go down to your, if you don't see your effect tab down here, you usually have to go to these little double arrows and click on that and tell it to show your effect tab. It just means uh, that you've got so many tabs open here that you cannot see all of them. So you hit this little double arrow and it'll, exp and it'll show all your tabs here in your project area. So if I hit effects, it'll bring up this window here. And here you can search uh, certain effects. You have audio effects, which we'll go over in the next episode. But right now we're going to be covering this little tab right here, video effects. You also have audio transitions and video transitions, which we'll have in an upcoming episode. So your video effects, if you arrow down here, you can look that you've got all these different folders and you have so, and under each folder you have di a different type of effects. You have a collection of different effects. If you arrow down one of these, you'll notice you have a whole bunch of different effect generators here in each folder. Now what you will see with uh, with your effects here is you've got these three little um, icons here at the top. If you hover your mouse over each one of these, if you hover your mouse over each one of these, this one says accelerated effect, this one says 32-bit color, and this one says YUV effects. Uh, if we go under one of our video effects here, let's go under color correction, and you'll notice you got some of these effects that have nothing under on them, and then you have some of them that have just like one of these little tabs, and then one of these, then some of these that have the, uh, three of these little icons here. What this basically means is that any of these effects that have this first icon next to it right here means that, um, that when you add the effect to your clip that it will not have to render the clip to play it back. Basically uses the video card and it plays it back real time when you add an effect. If I grab one of these, we're going to show you quickly how to add one of these. And I drag this over and drop it on my clip. Notice that this area right here, this stays the same color. This is this yellow color, which means that this video clip can play back on your computer real time with that effect applied. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to grab another one without anything added to it. And watch this. When I grab this and drop it to this clip, it turns red. That means that this has to be rendered, that, and rendered means it's building a brand new clip with the effect applied, and then it's playing back that clip instead of the original clip. If you remove that effect, uh, then it will just play the original clip. And I just undid that and took it off, so now it's playing, reverting back to the original clip. If you add one of these here, let's add one of these. I haven't done anything, any effects on it, but notice it has turned red because it's been applied. Uh, to play that back, you have to press enter or return, and it will render anything that's red in your timeline. Once that is finished rendering, you'll notice this is now turned green. That means that there's been an optimized clip that's been uh, rendered together with the effect applied, and it is now referencing that clip that has been rendered and no longer the original clip. Uh, if you remove that off of this, you select the clip, and go to effect controls and we'll show this here in a minute and we select our change to color that we added hit delete and uh, notice it's gone back to yellow so it does not have that clip that doesn't have the accelerator it doesn't have the video card accelerator applied to it. See, some of these have been programmed uh, specifically for your video card, so they can uh, so it'll use your video card to play back the clip real time with the effect applied. If you're doing things, especially with color correction, this one, the next one is kind of is the next one is fairly important. If you're working with uh, with footage. If you're working with footage that's not very compressed, like if you're working with DSLR footage or GoPro footage that's compressed, uh, and you're working with raw footage, you're going to want to use you're going to want to find these filters that have the 32-bit that have the that have the 32-bit color on it. 32-bit basically means that it's reading a heck of a lot more colors than it is with your compressed footage, and it's really helpful when you're grading uh, raw footage. The YUV is kind of a throwback to older color spaces, like with uh, DV footage uh, that use the YUV color spacing and they use the YUV color spacing, which basically use a grayscale channel to, to grade your, your, your colors. And that basically means that this clip is capable of doing video acceleration along with the color, the high quality uh, color playback on, on those clips. And if you are looking for a very specific effect that you know exists in this in one of these folders and you don't want to have to arrow each one down and try to find them, for example, if we want to find, let's say, noise, I'm going to click in my little search engine here, I'm going to type in noise, and it will narrow down all the effects to just the ones that deal with noise. Some of these have the name noise in it and some of them uh, do not, but they, they are ones that deal with, and you will see all the filters that deal with any sort of noise. You got denoiser, noise reduction here, uh, and then you've got your little noise one down there. We can grab this. If we want to add one of these to a clip, all you have to do is grab this and drag it over and drop it onto a clip. Now with this clip selected, 
uh, and as long as you hit your effect controls tab up here, this will show the effects that you have added to your clip. Uh, up here are the native effects to the clip in this first in the motion tab and opacity tab and time remapping. These ones are added to every single clip. I'll have an episode coming up on, on those specifically, but you'll notice your video effect is right here that we've added, noise. And right now it's at 0%. These usually come across as, as neutral. The effect has been added, but nothing's been done to it yet. So now as we have our playhead over the clip and we have the clip selected, both those are both very important to have the clip selected and have your playhead over it so you can see real time what's happening to your clip here. And we grab amount of noise and I grab this and drag it to the right, you'll notice it starts adding noise. Now this is kind of destroying my Im image, but you can kind of see, but you can see how it's changing the clip as I drag that over to the right. There's 100% if I put this back at zero. If I click on this and hit zero, and enter, it basically turns off the effect. And it also has some other attributes under here. You use uh, color noise and clip result values, which if we turn this up here, when we check mark one, notice it's not, it's not using the color noise, it's using the grayscale noise there. And if we hit clip result values, it's going to have a different effect as well. So each effect will have kind of its own parameters that you can kind of play with, that you can kind of play with and see what you get. But you can combine more than one effect. If I go down here, if I move down here, I'm going to hit X and clear that search and type in another search. Let's type in distort. And it will bring up all the distortion type of effects that you can use in your video here. So I move down to the bottom. Let's add lens distortion. Some of these are really cheesy, but let's add this effect kind of see what we get. So we've com combined these two effects here. We've got noise and lens distor distortion. Let's go to the curvature and start changing this and kind of see what you get here. It's so adding this weird lens effect here where it's got this white background. And you can add your di you can change your fill color by clicking on this and dragging it over to black. And OK, and now the back background is black. And you can see these different, as you change different effects, you get different distortion effects. Now one other thing's here, with this clip selected, and we can see the effects that we've added, first the noise and then the lens distortion, if we hit this little effects tab to the left of one of these here, what that does is it just turns off the effect, it just toggles it on and off. It still has all those attributes applied, it's just not displaying them now. But if I click that again, it brings them back. Same as the noise, if I turn off the noise, the noise is gone, but I can leave it there and click on it again, and it brings it back. You can also select these and delete them. If you're not sure if you want to bring them back later, you can just turn them off like that. And if you want to just delete them, you can select it and hit delete and it's gone. Over to the side here, you have this little reset effect icon right there. And then also underneath that, you'll have these little reset parameters within that effect. If you want to reset any one of these back to its back to its beginning point, you can hit one of these specifically. Let me hit just the reset parameter on the vert vertical prism effects there, and it resets just that effect. It resets just that parameter. If I go up here and hit this, it'll reset the entire effect and everything's been set back to zero. So I'm, now I'm going to clear this field, so it restores it back to normal here. And then I'm going to search and find a Gaussian blur here. I'm going to grab my Gaussian blur. I'm going to drag that and drop it onto my clip. I'm going to go over here and change the blur values here. And I'm going to tell it to repeat the edge pixels. Right now it's kind of starting to blur inward here, so I'm going to do repeat edge pixels and it will blur it all the way out of the edge, make it look like this clip is out of focus. I'm going to clear out the blur there and we're going to find a different effect here. And I'm going to go find my horizontal flip here and flip it horizontally. So we've done some different effect work on here. And now you'll notice I've got two effects applied to this one clip. If we want those effects to go onto other clips, what we can do is a couple different things. I can select my Gaussian and my horizontal flip. I'm going to hold down Control. It would be Command on a Mac. And I've got both these effects selected. If I do Control C, it will copy those effects. And I can move to a new clip. And I can select that clip and do Control V as in Victor to paste, and it pasted those same two effects to this clip. Now there's another way of doing this. I'm going to hit undo. I'm going to select the clip that has the effects applied, and I'm going to do Control C or Command C to copy. And now I'm going to select a range of clips here. I'm going to right click and say Paste Attributes. It will bring up this window and ask me what attributes do I want to apply. I didn't do any motion effects, I can uncheck that, uh, but it asks, do you want to apply the clip that I copy? Do I want to apply the Gaussian blur and the horizontal flip? If I want to uncheck one of those and just apply one, I can, or just check, have both of them check marked and hit OK. And it will paste those effects to every single one of these clips that I had selected. I know I just kind of destroyed my clip with making it blurry and flipping the horizon, but I'm just demonstrating how to do, how to use these effects. Like I said, it really comes in handy when you start doing color correction and some other basic effects. Now, if you want to get rid of those effects altogether, I can select all these clips here. 
I can right click and go up to remove attributes. It'll bring up this window and ask me what attributes I want to remove. If I just want to remove those effects, I can uncheck everything, audio, time remapping, opacity, and motion, and I'm just going to remove the effect filters that I've added, hit OK, and all, now all those effects have been taken off. And one thing you'll notice here is uh, when you add a, an effect to a clip here, let me grab the Gaussian Blur, add it to this clip, you notice there's this little effect icon down here. Notice how the color changes. Notice these icons down here, these little effect tabs right here. Um, a lot of these are kind of color, this little grayish color, and then this one is magenta or purple, whatever color this is here. But you'll notice the color changes when you add a clip to it. Let me remove that uh, Gaussian Blur, delete it, and you'll notice the color has now changed. So this little effects tab says that no effects are applied to this clip right now. If I undo that, you'll notice this now has an effect that has a Gaussian Blur. So this way you can kind of tell what clips have, uh, have effects applied to them, what clips have by the color of your effects icon right here. And those are the basics of how to add a video effect to your clips and move them around and copy and paste them and manipulate them. If you have any questions, please post them. Thanks for watching.